This is Sari Shore of Sari Shore in the Engine Room, and we are here to perform tonight at the North Sea Jazz Club. We are so happy to be back in the Netherlands. We really love touring here. We meet so many great people. We do a mix of blues, rock, with a little bit of soul and R&B, and we find that we meet like-minded people here who share our love of this kind of music, and that's why we just feel so at home here. So free. from the UK, from Ireland, from Scotland. But this is really an international kind of music because it speaks about the human experience. And the reason I'm drawn to blues and rock because it's so honest. And I consider myself a storyteller first and then a singer, but it's all about telling stories of the human experience. And you know, I love people and that's what inspires me. I've been singing since I think I was three or four years old. My mother loves to embarrass me with the story that I was singing before I could walk. I think it's true. But it was always something that uh, I identified with music more than anything else. And it was a place where I could be more myself and more comfortable. And I was very shy as a kid and I was very introspective. And music was a place of, of solace for me. Um, so I've been doing it my whole life. The uh, the question was how to find a way to allow more people to discover my work, and it was really because of the genius Mike Vernon. When he heard me and decided he wanted to come out of retirement to make a record with me, that was the the key to open that door for me, and I was allowed to step through and make a record I'm really proud of with him, and then to have Manhattan Records be brave enough to take a chance on a new artist to release this record, and knowing that it wasn't a safe record either. We talked about the kind of record we wanted to make, and you know there were choices. We could do something safe that we knew would be received and understood, and we could get, you know, um, a lot of recognition for it, or we could make a record that was more of a risk, but that had more artistic integrity in it because it was more about what I wanted to contribute as an artist and write songs about subjects that I wanted to talk about, subjects that are hard to, to deal with. But um, you know, there's a, there's a way to deal with these things through music that creates uh, a platform to to talk about a lot of things and, and I think that's you know one of the important roles that I have as a songwriter as well so it's been a, a lifelong pursuit and I'm really really lucky to be at this point now where I can share share all the hard work with so many wonderful people
always dreamt of being a successful touring musician. I knew that I wanted to be a singer because I was a singer. That's all I ever was. And I identified myself as a singer. But it took many years for me to become a good singer and to become a good, proficient songwriter. And then it took me even longer to be able to accept being the front person of my own band. I was much more comfortable in a support role. And part of it was because I loved the feeling of being a part of a family and stepping into someone else's band was like stepping into a pre-made family. And when I would watch someone like Joe Lewis Walker, who I worked with, do, do these big shows and interviews as we're doing now, I would think, I can't do that. I'm so, I'm so lucky that I just have to be, you know, the, the backup singer in Joe's band. And when he pushed me out, he said, you know, you've got to do, you've got to go out on your own. You've got so much to say. You, you can do this. And I would think, I can't do this. But, but now you're doing it. I'm doing it now because what I realized is I could create my own family with, with my band and my producer and the record label. These are all now part of my family and they give me the confidence and the strength to, to be able to do this and to really enjoy it. And I think part of that is because I feel so immensely grateful for everything that's happening because it didn't happen overnight for me that I am not ever taking any of this for granted, not for one second. And with this kind of gratitude, I am seeing all the positive things about this and just really focusing on all the good things. I think one of the most important messages that we all need to share with each other is to remember that in these times of fear and isolation, we are truly spiritual beings all connected to each other, having a human experience. And not to forget that we are all connected. Thank you. How about some blues, folks? It's always a good day for the blues, right?